Business leaders call it agritourism. The employees of Armstrong Flooring call it a day of family fun. This is Crenshaw Christmas Tree Farm, a working farm for over 150 years and accredited as a Tennessee Century Farm. But by the 1980s, the ground had been nearly row cropped to death. A Crenshaw family friend from Indiana suggested they try Christmas trees, and a new era began. Once we got into the Christmas trees, we had an area right out here in the front yard that's really nice with the big, big nice trees for shade and everything. And we had a company from Humboldt, they couldn't get to park in Humboldt, and they called out here and said, uh, well, would y'all mind us having a company picnic out at your place? And we said, well, no, we'll try anything once. So we started out doing company picnics, and then uh, we um, built a, a nice barn here. It's since burned down and we've rebuilt, but it, we built a nice barn out here and started doing company picnics. Well, people wanted to have weddings out here because a lot of people were getting away from traditional weddings and that sort of thing. They wanted a nice outdoor setting. And we had logs all the way around the outside of the building, kind of like we do here now. And uh, so we started doing weddings and we started doing Christmas parties. People said, you know, well, y'all need to, uh, y'all do such good food, y'all need to open up a restaurant. So we opened up a restaurant. All this came from that one seed of, you know, planting the Christmas trees. There are many games and activities to enjoy, depending on the size of your group and how much you want to spend. On the day of our visit, the farm was bustling. Kids splashed in the freshwater swimming hole. They took flight in the jumpers, and some got their first try at using a bow and arrow. You know, everything we do here at the farm, we try to uh, do it where it would fit into the farm concept and stuff. You know, we have a century old sawmill down there at the bottom of the hill that actually still runs that we do for tours and y'all will see it running and stuff today. And, and the big, large fishing pond down there, you know, it's, we have a section where we can throw out food, the fish will bubble to the top, catfish and stuff like that, the kids love to see. So everything, we the little museum, uh, even the restaurant here with the old logs and stuff, we try to fit it all into that same scheme of, uh, you know, the farm lifestyle. And there's plenty of history to enjoy. The farm is dotted with antique farming implements. A small museum documents early farm life and the tools once used around the homestead. And there's a sawmill that occasionally roars back to life. Small groups, couples, and individuals can enjoy the farm with a visit to Crenshaw's Catfish Restaurant. The decor is distinctly rustic and comfortable, with original lighting that depicts the working areas of the farm, and beams hewn from West Tennessee trees. My father, as I said, was a doctor in Humboldt, and a patient of his came in and he said, are you still looking for some logs for it to rebuild with out there? And he goes, yeah, I'm having a hard time finding it. He goes, well, uh, these people in Trenton just torn down their old home place, and they're fixing to burn some really nice timbers and stuff, because, you know, one person's trash is another person's treasure. So my father, I mean, he probably left that guy sitting there on the examination table, and he ran in there and he called me and he said, you go out to this place, you send the guys out to this place, and you get those, you know, if they're really as good looking as they say, you get those timbers out of there, you bring them back, we're going to use them in the restaurant. So I sent my guys to this place. And one of them called me back and he goes, now they're down in a hole and they're fixing to burn them. You want us to really get them out of the hole? I said, if they're in good shape, get them out of the hole. And they're out of the hole, and now they're our centerpiece to our restaurants. You can enjoy chicken or a grilled steak, but catfish and hush puppies are the Crenshaw specialty. We're not the, the fastest restaurant in the world. We don't want to be a fast restaurant. We don't want to be McDonald's or Wendy's or something. We want you to come out here. We want you to have a relaxed, good meal and a good time. Tours and classes for school kids, business meetings and family vacations. Farms all across Tennessee are opening their gates to the public and finding new sources of revenue in agritourism. I love it. I really love it. It's having fun out here with my kids. He really like riding the horse. <laughs> yeah, the kids love it. I love it too. A lot of activities for the kids and a lot of time for the employees to be able to spend time together and, and get to meet the families and it's been real nice.